Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing some fishing lures. Uh, go Panthers, go Panthers, football, go Panthers. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, do all that stuff right now. I'll give you a second. Have you done it? I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of cleaned out my tackle box. Uh, you know, out with the old, in with the new. Here's all the stuff. I, I kind of kept some of the stuff that's not like rusty and stuff. But, you know, we got a lot of new stuff to review today. First things first, I want to be organized as I can possibly be. Um, I'm not happy if I'm not organized, so I got, uh, let's just go ahead and review these frogs first. Uh, up on this top one, I got these two frogs. They were pretty cheap. A, a weedless hook. Uh, I got them from a separate pack. Then I got these three frogs down here in a three pack for like five bucks, I think. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just put that in there, I guess, like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Next thing is like these little baits and some swivels and hooks, which I use those all the time. So I'm just gonna go in there like that. First product is this crayfish. Um, I use crayfish a lot. It'll go up here for this one. This is a very nice one. This was like eight bucks for a weedless. So I probably won't lose it anytime soon, but hope it gets me some fish. This is one of the nicest lures I have ever had. Look, so whenever you're using it, you got your swivel on it and stuff. You'll pull, the tail will come up, and then whenever you drop it, the tail will flap back down. Do you know how cool that is? This is cool. It's pretty nice too, weedless hooks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, this this is a very nice lure. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's put that in there just like that. If you're wondering about all the rust and stuff, uh, I went saltwater fishing one day and the waves literally just carried my box away and everything got rusty. So that's why I'm replacing everything. Next up, we have the Ozark Trail Eagle Claw Hooks Poppers. These things are nice. I've had a few of these before. I, lo I love them. They're really good. This is uh, the first one. This was the one I'll probably use the most. It's just nice in every way. I mean, literally. So, uh, let's put the popper's tail down in this one right here. There we go. This is the next one. This is probably the one I'll use the most. I'm not going to lie. It's the bass one. It's, I mean, do I have to say anything else? It's really nice. So, um, let's go. There we go. Uh, and this is the last one. This one's also really nice. The blue stripe. Uh, this one I'll probably use for more shallow water, I guess. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's got the nice shiny white bottom like the bass one. But, yeah, I like this one a lot. One in there. There we go. I have this trout fishing kit. Now, I did not get this for trout fishing, okay? And even though it is, it has these crawfish in it. And I love crawfish. Crawfish are probably some of my favorite bait. I'm still going to put all these in the tackle box, but crawfish are going to go on top. Uh, this is a quick little look. Here are the crawfish, as you can tell. Over here are, like, these little bugs and stuff. I didn't realize that they were in here. And uh, these are little worms that I can use for bass and stuff. These are hooks, swivels, and sinkers, and a bobber. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I put all the soft baits right there. Um, and I put those hooks that came with it right there. Some hooks and sinkers are there now. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we have these bobbers. Uh, the bobbers are pretty simple. I took the one from the trout kit and put it in here. Uh, they, they, they can just go in here on top of that. That, that works. Okay. Next up, we have this Rapala floating jig. Uh, it's pretty nice. It swims as it goes through the water, you know. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This thing right here, I can already tell, is going to catch me some fish. I mean, yeah, this thing is dope. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it right there. Right in there. Boom. Next up, we have this little guy right here. Um, I saw it and I thought it looked pretty cool. You know, it's probably good for like, as on the stuff, bluegill, crappy and stuff, and some smaller bass. Yeah, this will do that for me for like bait fish and stuff. Yeah. The thing is so small, it only needs one hook. I thought that was funny. Um, 
But anyways, I think I'm gonna put it in this compartment here, so. There we go. Along with the big crawfish. Next up, we have these two more of these little crawfish jigs. I've caught a lot of bass on these, and that's why I love them so much. So yeah, hold up. Let me get these open and show them. Caught a five pound largemouth on these ones. That's how good these things are. They are dope. Uh, and I'm gonna put them in here with all of these, um, and I have a lot of them. So you're just gonna watch me get all of these little guys. Scratch them all over. Just bring them on in. Hold up, let me just get them all entangled, then I'll put them in. So I put all the crawfish in there, so now they're there. So yeah, next thing. Next up, we have these black rooster tails. I got four more of them, because they're, they're pretty good. I like them a lot. Decided to put um, all of the rooster tails there. I moved all of the little crawfish over to here, and the big boy's still right here. Uh, actually, I didn't move him from there to here, just because like they're bigger and stuff, so why not? And uh, for the last things, we have some swivels, some big offset shank worm hooks, some normal evil eagle claw hooks. They didn't give me many. Never mind, they're all there. Um, and a football jig, which was from the tackle box, but I took it out, so I'm gonna put it back in. Put the football jig in there. There we go. No, okay. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. Wrong way. Eh. So now he's in there with this little guy. Can look it on top so I can see him. The hooks are gonna go down there with the bobbers, I guess. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay, so um, I took uh, all the hooks out of the eagle claw and put them in here. I took all the soft baits out of this and put them up here. Um, and I put the sinkers and everything's in its own compartment along with the swivels. So, back in there. Forgot a few things. I have this little hook thing, some extra line just in case, and I forget what these are called, but they're, they get the hooks out of the fish's mouth. Uh, so yeah, these are the last three things. Uh, this can go in. The bobbers, get out. You go in there. So that can go in there. There, can it though? Wait, let me just make sure I can start with them. Yes, perfect. Okay, now this can go. No, yeah, this can go down here, like that. And then the bobbers can just go in there, like that. Perfect. Yes. And then it's shut. I have done it. My full unboxing. This is all the trash left afterwards so thanks for watching and i might post a video later of me like fishing and stuff i might not i don't know um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a like go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already i told you to do it at the beginning of the video but if you didn't then nothing i can do uh yeah see you in the next one